Hey, hi all. In this video, we will talk about custom labels in Salesforce. So, what first of all, what is custom labels? As we all know, labels are nothing but a name given to a particular thing or a particular feel. What we what we want to showcase it on in particular or a component or an AWS component, we get give it a label or a title. So that is the generic field label which we give. The name of that particular field which will uh, which will appear to a user in the backend we have field and that is the API name of that particular field. And then we have this custom labels. So we can define a custom label, we can assign a value to it, and then we can uh, we can <coughs> we can use that particular value in in uh, some of the custom logics might be in flows, in classes, in effects, wherever we want. Uh, and so from the usability perspective if you have deployed the code in the production you cannot change, you cannot make changes in the code but you can make uh, changes in this particular custom label value so if you uh, in that manner also you can use the custom labels wherever needed so uh, later on you don't have to change any code you have to just change the value of that particular custom label which you which might which you have in uh, used in the uh, SOP query or in your uh, custom classes in any of the business logic. So let's start first of all. What are custom labels? Uh, they are custom text values which can be called from Apex classes, Visual Force pages, Lightning components or components uh, flows, and it is used to support multilingual feature in an application. We can use custom labels that offer users to change or translate text values into any language that supports that is supported by salesforce it helps to provide the best user experience that offers application in the user's native language uh, we can create up to 5000 custom labels in an salesforce org instance and they can be up to 1000 characters in length one custom label can be 1000 characters in length then how, how we can create a custom label we have to just click on the setup then uh, we have to uh, there is a search box in or the quick find box we can just type custom label or we have to just uh, go to build create and then custom label in the custom label we have to click new custom label uh, which is show which is which is highlighted in this particular screenshot as you can see on the screen uh, next we have to fill the details and click on save button the basic details are what is the short description of that particular label what is, will be the name of that and what will be the value in this case the name is message and the value is text uh, sorry test message and later on how we can use it in visual force page so in visual force page we can use it dollar label dot the name of that particular custom label as you can see in this particular apex output label the value is label uh, dollar label dot message message is the name of that particular custom label how to use it how to use a, a particular custom label in apex classes so the syntax is system dot label dot label name so in this case the label name is message so it will be system dot label dot message name uh, sorry message and what uh, the value which that particular custom label holds will be displayed how to use uh, it in like component that is or a like component so the uh, the syntax is dollar label dot c dot label name so it is for default namespace that is c and in the gs file it is uh, the syntax is dollar a dot get and then label dot c dot label name the label name is message in this case as you can see then uh, how to use it in like with components that is LWC. LWC. So we have to just import the labels as we do uh, for the custom uh, for the Apex classes methods. We have to just import it and then we have to use it with Lightning element. Uh, the label will be uh, the thing, and in that we have to pass all the custom labels which we want. If we have to use it in HTML file, then uh, we have to. Just give it label dot uh, the custom label name that is welcome label then new case label and home page label. Custom label we can use it in Salesforce flow. 
uh, it can be anywhere in text area or while doing any comparison also or while assigning a value to that particular variable we can use the uh, label so how we can how, how we can get the custom label in flow so the base uh, the resource is dollar label so once you click on that this custom label in salesforce flow formula field so in the same manner we can we can extract or we can use that particular custom label in any part of the flow wherever it is accessible we can use it in the email templates also dollar label dot put your label api name or the label name that is dollar label dot billing address in this case so it will get it will get the value of that and um, this is all about the custom label so how we can create a custom label what is the use of that majorly it is used for the translation of the values uh, which it holds for an example we have a greeting message it might be hello and the name of that particular user so if if a user is from uh, australia so that particular hello should be in australian if it is spanish uh, it, if the user is in Spain, then uh, that particular hello should be in Spain. In that, in that case, we can use the custom label. Uh, the word will be hello. Uh, the value will be uh, means like once we create that particular record, then we have a translated. Uh, what will be the translated uh, of that particular uh, of that word which we have in that uh, particular custom label? So we can mention that accordingly and according to the user's native language. Uh, it uh, it, it will be a uh, replicator or it will be shown to that particular use so that's all for custom label thank you and have a nice day